What is going on guys? It's me Freddy again with another banger video. Today we're going to be harnessing our inner superheroes. And you might be wondering what powers we're going to be trying to replicate today. And I'm assuming since you guys clicked on this video, you're familiar with a certain Doctor Strange? And no, we're not going to be stopping time. Did I get you? <laughs> We're gonna be learning how to levitate. We can't learn how to fly yet. We gotta take the baby steps and learn how to levitate. Now I know what you're thinking. And no, we don't need any science experiments, no infinity stones, none of that. Today we're just gonna be needing an Adobe subscription to Photoshop, a camera, and a little bit of imagination. For this effect to work, I, I recommend wearing your flowiest clothing, meaning your baggiest clothing you have. And you'll see why once we start. All right, so I got my button up on and... Okay, so how I have this set up is I have the stool with uh, cloth over it to contrast my clothing so it's easier to select in Photoshop. And I have my background, I have Disney logo on a TV. So basically my idea is I'm gonna be sitting on the stool, uh, sort of laying down on it. Okay, I like how I like the end result, but I think I gotta bring up my left leg a little bit. It was cut off. Oh, and I forgot to mention you're gonna need an empty shot of just the background. You'll see why once we're in Photoshop, which we'll be going into right now. All right, so I know that the photos that you've taken are not gonna be the same as mine, but try to follow along with what I'm doing and, and apply that to your photos. Basically what I've done is taken the photo of me posing and taking the background photo without me and the bench in it and I've selected those as my starter photos. Next is I take the photo of me posing and I try to cut out my figure away from the rest of the background. Depending on how busy your background is, it might take a second to get a precise cut. A couple of tools you guys can use to select is the selection tool that I'm using here, which is the lasso tool. For me, it's probably the most precise to use. Uh, a lot of people will say to use the pen tool. Uh, it's a little bit more... The pen tool is a little bit more advanced. It, it'll take a while to get used to if you guys want a tutorial on how to use the pen tool, let me know in the comments. Basically, after I cut out my figure, I placed it in front of the blank background. As you can also see that I did not have a precise cut. I still had a few spaces that I did not cut out and I went back and cut them out. It's okay to mess up. We all learn from all mess ups. After a few more touch ups, I began trying to place uh, myself into the photo 
trying to find a good composition. You guys can see here that I tried to warp my uh, shirt. Just to give it a more flowy effect, I used the liquify tool uh, to drag down my button up a little bit. After you placed your figure into the photo and all that, it's basically all creative liberties at this point. If you want to add more effects to it. What I did was go into camera raw one more time and try to blend all the colors together. You don't have to do that. If you like how the photo looks, you can just skip to making effects for your photos. Uh, what I did was put some particles in there. I put a couple of sun flares. The brushes that I used are from brusheasy.com. I'll leave a link to below. But other than that, I didn't really do much to this photo. If you guys have any other questions, please put them down in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell to get notified for future videos. Thank you all for watching. Peace.